Hi there, it's Tad Hargrave, and welcome to my blog. I thought I'd just give you a quick tour, because there are some things about my blog that are pretty obvious, and some things that maybe aren't so obvious. The first thing I want to point out uh, on the right-hand side are the subscribe to my blog via email. And as I'm going through this, uh, uh, there are two reasons I'm going through this. One is to let you know how you can use my blog better, so you can find the kind of things you're looking for more quickly. Um, Number two, there are some parts of my blog that I think you might actually like to uh, have on your own blog um, that may inspire you to check some things out. So one of them is here, FeedBurner. Uh, so you can enter your email to subscribe to my blog. So this means if you have a blog and you want people to subscribe so that every time you post a blog, they would be emailed uh, that blog, uh, they'd get almost kind of like a newsletter, uh, Seth Godin as a marketing person a lot of people are familiar with. He does this. And uh, feedburner.com, it's the best one that I know of. Below that, uh, if you want to get on my email list, you can uh, subscribe here. You'll get a free 195-page ebook and just enter your email there. If you want to connect with me on Facebook, Twitter, through RSS feed, um, you can do that. But here are the things I want to flag about my blog. One, most recent posts. So if it's the last 10 posts or so, uh, and you're looking for something, it's like, oh, I know he posted that recently, I saw that just a couple weeks ago, you can probably find it here. Uh, if it was posted a while ago, or <coughs> maybe you're just looking for blogs on a certain topic, like um, arts marketing, maybe you do arts, or you're interested in this idea you might have heard me talk about becoming a hub, or maybe book publishing, or uh, inspiring case studies of inspiring businesses, or maybe... Uh, you're really interested in this whole idea of how to use marketing for social change, etc. Uh, so you can look just by the category. So, for example, if we were to click on greenwashing, click on that, and it takes us to marketingforhippies.com slash category slash goodwashing dash greenwashing. And you're going to see there's a funny video from a TV show called Portlandia about local food. Um, and just a bunch of posts that are about this whole notion of how businesses will spend more money on trying to look green than actually be green. So click back, go back to the blog. On the other side, you're going to see sort of another lens, another way of looking at um, categorizing these blog posts by tags. And so these ones are more about, is it about authenticity? Is it about building trust? Is it about empathy, gener being a generosity-based business? as a pressure-free, real safety, etc. You'll notice some of these words are bigger than others. Uh, that means there are more posts in this. So this one, I think, has 85 topics. Authenticity has 61 versus context has only one. So the bigger it is, the more posts you'll find in it. So if we click on Building Trust, which has the most posts, it takes us to marketingforhippies.com slash tag slash building trust, and you'll see a bunch of blog posts scrolling down, <coughs> down, down, and then of course when we get to the bottom, uh, there's still going to be some more, Ooh, where are we? so if you click next page, that will take you to the next page of blog posts on that topic. Um, now once we go to specific searches, you can't see the tags or categories anymore, so we have to go back to the blog. Also, if we look below that, you'll see a calendar, and maybe you can remember the rough date when a blog came out. So if you want to find it, you can just click on that date in the calendar. We can go back to February. And it'll show us here all the blog posts from February. The other thing I want to flag that I think is actually a pretty smart thing to do in a blog that I've been getting into <coughs> more recently, and you might want to consider for your own blog, uh, is this whole uh, creating tags to other parts of your blog within a blog. So here, I did an interview with Bill Barron called How Do You Use Blogging and Social Media to Create the No Like, and Trust Factor? Uh, and it says here, Today I'm being interviewed by my pal Bill Barron, pictured right about how I use social media and blogging to build the No Like, and Trust Factor. So if we click Social Media, it's going to take us to the, uh, let's see here, we've got the category Social Media, in the category, so it's going to take you to all the blog posts I've ever written about social media. Uh, so how I use social media and blogging, if you click that, it'll take us to every blog post that I've written about blogging. If you take click here, it'll take you to his program. Similarly, 
uh, here. Sexy Nerd Girl. So my friend Mike Fly, he's created this uh, improv TV show. So that's linked to his project. Um, but I say this is a fun, amazing example of Marketing 2.0 in action. That'll take you to all my blog posts about Marketing 2.0. Um, so what I think is smart about that <coughs> to do in most blog posts is that that keeps people on your blog. It's going to keep people um, looking at other posts and making it really easy for people to find exactly what they're looking for, make it really easy for them to follow the threads of their interest. So I think that's it in terms of uh, my uh, my blog. I hope it's been useful for you in terms of thinking about your own blog, things that you could add. Again, I really recommend FeedBurner. And if you think this blog is something you'd like to get on a regular basis, uh, comes out once every day or so, uh, then just enter your email there and you'll get it. You can unsubscribe at any point, of course, and um, you know the list will never be sold. Uh, etc etc so if you have any questions send them to me at tad at marketingforhippies.com and I'd be happy to answer them uh, otherwise keep reading below because there's uh, some more information about uh, my blog and, and uh, might help you decide if it's a fit to subscribe or not thanks so much